When you're doing a Broadway show, you have one chance to get it right. So the most important time truly is the rehearsal process. As a director, you're always trying to create conditions that will allow you to create your best possible work and will allow actors to do their best possible work. And I really believe it begins with space. The rehearsal studio becomes the blueprint for the show. You want tall ceilings because you want good acoustics. You need sprung floors for the dancers. Having a, a great environment to work in is absolutely critical. What new 42nd Street Studios affords all of us is an extreme focus on the work and the kind of place where you feel safe. People didn't realize how much it was needed until it was here. It dignifies the process for so many theater practitioners. It makes them feel, yes, we're respected professionals. I've actually rehearsed two operas here and I found it incredibly comfortable to sing in these rooms and that's so important for us. It's not until I walk into these studios that I start to dance and I start to choreograph and, you know, I, I just start to feel peaceful. I remember standing in the studio and looking out the window and thinking, it doesn't matter what happens from here on out, I've made it. <laughs> Rehearsing at the new 42nd Street Studios is considered a prize. You know, the moment that they told me I was going to be rehearsing my show, at 42nd Street Studios made me feel like, oh wait, I really am a director. <laughs> You're on the most famous block in the world in a new, sexy, sleek environment with people who care, who give a toss, I was gonna say. Can you say give a toss in this country? <laughs> who knows? I've just said it. <laughs> you know, there's something about the Broadway community in that there is a camaraderie, and this building is one of those places that fosters that because there are nine floors, essentially, of carny folk <laughs> trying to put on a show. Sometimes a show is completely birthed here. You know, you, you're here for the first reading, and then six months later you're here again for, you know, dance pre-production, and then you're here to rehearse the show for Out of Town, and then you're here again to rehearse it for Broadway. In fact, these studios are so sought after that we can't get all of our shows in here anymore. Everybody wants to be here. You'll see a big Broadway show rehearsing uh, in one studio, and then right next door is, is the Martha Graham Company or the David Parsons Company or a nonprofit modern company. The studio building was always meant to be an ecosystem. So the commercial rehearsals are meant to um, help subsidize the nonprofit rehearsals. That affords us to be able to come in and do exploratory work. If you were paying 40 or $50 an hour and you could only afford for two hours to be there, you don't have a lot of time to make mistakes. And to make space for that in the center of this city is no small thing. In the new 42nd Street Studios, we also decided to build a black box theater with 200 seats. It's called the Duke on 42nd Street. I love the space, an off-Broadway house where it's really, really, really intimate. And this theater is part of the ecology of the performing arts. Their only goal is to provide a place where theater can live and interact with the community and where the value of theater can impart itself onto a community. And so they really, that's the talk they talk and that's the walk they walk. The new 42nd Street Studios is dedicated to the performing artists of the 20th and 21st centuries and to the spells they cast.